Hi and welcome to another Tremor quick tip. In this video I want to talk about macro controls. Macro controls are the four controls that you see at the top of every channel strip in the kit page. These controls give you a very quick way of shaping the sound without getting deep into the synthesis page here. The sound designers behind all the factory presets in Tremor have set up these macro controls giving you tailor-made options that best suit that particular sound. Let's have a look at how these are set up. If I move on to the synthesis page here, down at the bottom we can see four macro control modulation source buttons. Each one of these buttons when selected will allow me to change what that particular macro control is doing. The macro control knobs themselves are also duplicated on this page so that you don't have to keep going back to the kit page to tweak them. Let me start by clearing this macro control here and we'll have a look at how to assign something. Now that I've cleared it we can see that the macro control will no longer have any effect on the sound. So in order to allow some control over the colour I'm going to simply apply some modulation to the noise tone parameter and we'll see now that when I move the colour control the tone will change. Of course you're not restricted to just modulating one control. The whole point of Transmod is that you can apply modulation to as many controls as you like. For example I could simultaneously change the filter cutoff. you're probably going to want to rename these macro controls to suit whatever sound you're designing. Simply right click on the control and choose rename macro controller. I'll change it to the English spelling of color. Now a couple of the macro controls work slightly differently. The uh, third and fourth macro controls here actually work in conjunction with the fast and slow envelope controls. This one works with the fast envelope, this one works with the slow envelope. These ones modulate the amount of fast or slow envelope that is applied to the destination parameter. Let's take a look at that. If I clear this macro control we'll see again that it has no effect. And what I'll do in this case is I'll apply it to the pitch here. So what you can hear there is the fast envelope is being applied to the pitch and the amount of that fast envelope being applied to the pitch is controlled by the third macro knob. At 0% none of the fast envelope is applied to the pitch here. So if I change the fast envelope to K And again, I might want to rename that to pitch envelope. And the fourth macro control works exactly the same, but with the slow envelope. So when you go and save your new sound, as you would do from the drum menu here, the macro controls will be all saved with the sound, allowing you quick and easy sound shaping options without getting deep into the synthesis page. And that, in a nutshell, is macro controls.